Well, school lunches. For some kids, sadly, it is their only meal of the day. Oftentimes, the school lunch debt can pile up. But I found a man with a, a platform to make a change and raise funds to pay off those lunch debts. And we wanted to pay it forward. 100.7 My FM, thanks for tuning in. You know Jeremy Taylor from 100.7 My FM, but did you know he has a lot to do with area school lunchrooms? It's something that I've wanted to do for a couple of years, but I wanted to do it um, personally, like just privately. I didn't want to make a, a, a big to-do about it, and so I started reaching out to schools to find out if someone were to want to donate to this cause to pay down school lunch debt who would you talk to? Where would you go? And the more I found out, the more I realized this is a big issue. This is a big problem. He's talking about school lunch debts and the accruing balances. So after the pandemic shutdown got out of the way in 2020, he started the Jeremy Taylor School Lunch Project January 1st of 2021. East Idaho stepped up. I mean, we've got uh, multiple donors that have come back again and again. He's primarily the voice of the project and uses his radio platform to collect the funds. The money then goes to area school districts to pay off school lunch debt. Yep, 100% of the proceeds do go to this cause, 100%. If you donate more than $25, you get a Jeremy Taylor Morning Show shaker cup as a thank you. And the school districts are very thankful. And to be able to go and meet with the... Um... Jeremy, how are you? Good. Good. How are you? I'm doing well. So I'm core with Mountain America Credit Union. Okay. <laughs> and you're like, ah, I know you. And I was just about to say, we're mid-interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, we actually are, have heard of what you're doing in the community. Okay. And providing lunches for our community. Yeah. And so we're here today to pay it forward. So I brought with me today $500 in cash. Oh, wow. That I know you can continue to yes, use. Yes, yes. To help those in need and, and continue to, to help pay for the lunches of those that, that truly need in our community and, and further your costs. So on behalf of Mountain America Credit Union, we'd like to pay it forward with $500, you, man. You guys are awesome. Well, Bring uh, it in. Yeah. <laughs> that is so cool. Thank yeah, you absolutely. so much. Great well, thank cause. you for all that you do. Well, right. again, Donations like this and uh, the people in the community rallying around the Jeremy Taylor School Lunch Project, th that is what keeps the, the, the wheels turning. And we did have a slow period over the summer months, um, but we've ramped back up. And as I uh, told the crew here, we're about to give a donation, which is why Heather's here. We're about to give another donation next week to um, School District 93. Heather Plain is the Child Nutrition Supervisor in Bonneville School District 93. She agrees the Jeremy Taylor School Lunch Project is addressing a real problem. My team, they would just rather die than have to deal with the charges with a child. And so I, I, I can tell you every single member of my staff has covered a meal. They have done it so that kids will eat and those charges aren't there. A couple weeks ago we had a situation where a child came back to school in the very same clothes they went home in and they were starving. They hadn't had anything since they had left, so lunch was their last meal. And this is elementary school. So the next day we met up at the district office for the big check presentation. Heather, thank you for your work, thank the team for your work. Uh, on behalf of Jeremy Taylor in the morning, and the Jeremy Taylor School Lunch Project, I present to you, with the assistance of Mountain America, a $1,000 check to aid in your mission, Thank feeding you. the kids, not just in this uh, school, but the entire school district. We love what you guys are doing. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is very, very generous. A double pay it forward. How do you like that? Well, Heather tells me that $1,000 will feed 333 secondary level students or 400 elementary school kids. I have the link to the Jeremy Taylor School Lunch Project where you can donate with this story at News3Now.com. Past donations recently have been made to Dora Erickson Elementary and the Idaho Falls School District, District 91. As for our Pay It Forward stories, they air the second Wednesday of every month. So if you know of a nonprofit organization or someone who deserves to be recognized for their contributions to the area, let me know. Just log on to News3Now.com and click on News under the menu at the top left of our homepage. Then click Pay It Forward. You can find this story and all of our past stories as well. You can also fill out the form to submit your nomination. Get those in there. It comes right to me. Or you can send me an email to my address. It is Todd.Kunz, that's K-U-N-Z, 
at news3now.com.